Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers and the comments on all the videos. I really do appreciate that. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's talk about unlocking Ember at five stars. Now I know a lot of people, new players to the game, want to know what they can do to get ember unlocked at five stars i know people are like dragon where have you been you've only been making a little bit of videos that sort of stuff what's going on well i can tell you right now that i have every i had every intention of you know doing some streaming doing some uh unlocks and that sort of stuff and last week i got very very sick um nothing too serious but i was just sick all week and i had a big trial um and motion uh to dismiss today um on monday uh for you that don't know i am a criminal defense attorney and and so because i was doing that my priorities really needed to shift over to focusing to focusing on my client and my job and my family uh, with being moved, you know, 140 miles away from them now uh, throughout the week. It's kind of tough. So I really do appreciate you guys' patience and that sort of stuff. What I'm doing today is I'm going to talk about Ember and unlocking Ember. I've got some recorded gameplay that we're going to go through and I'm going to talk about the strategies that I used for each and every lineup that I had. Now, it is my opinion that if you are new to this game, but you've been watching the videos and that sort of stuff, you know that Wonder Lula is a good character that she probably should be trying to get Wonder Lula. You know, Phalia is a good character for the elves. You know that these are the elves that you need. So let's pull up the screen here. These are the elves that are currently unlocked in the game. As you can see, this is where I have them at. And each at this particular level, um, if you were level 60 or above, you should be able to do this fairly easily by doing it exactly the same way I did it. Now, I know for a lot of people, if you're relatively new and you're at 60 and you're going, ah, but I don't even have Soleus yet, but Ember's here and you knew Ember was coming and you're trying to get Ember, right? Ember's worth getting. She's a good character. She does a lot of really good things. In my next video that I'm going to be talking about, kind of doing a state of the game where I think the game is at and what I'm currently doing on on my account. Um, I'm going to talk about what I'm personally doing and gearing up for, and I think that's going to help people going ahead. But if you're talking about a Laria, Nidiel Sharp, Kelrian, Phalia, and you just haven't been able, you're like, well, I don't really know. I know that I have the base guys. Can I do it just with the base uh, elves, Alaria, Nidiel Sharp, and Kelrian, and I have them at seven stars, and I've barely been working on this. Uh, yeah, you, you can. Um, it's a little tough. It's a little tough even at seven stars uh, at level 55, uh, 56, roughly. You can do it. Um, you can unlock. I'll show you a strategy for that. I'll also show you uh, the where you need to be on these characters. So each one of these characters... This is where I have them at. I have Alari at level 60 and gear level 7. And the reason for that is that she's super squishy at these levels. If she gets hit and killed, you're really, really, really out of luck. Um, so you kind of need to have her invest in her abilities at five, five, four, and four. That's where I had her, and it still was a little tough, um, as you can, as you'll see in the gameplay. When you're talking about ninety L across the board, now I know a lot of people at level six, you're gonna not necessarily have ninety L farmed all the way up to seven stars, um, but you're gonna want to, you know have damage runes um, some extra health maybe that's what I did some damage runes here and some extra uh, you know crit damage and then four across the board she will be your leader for this as you can have her at level 55 gear seven and these two first abil uh, first two gear slots um, same for sharp um, you know it's kind of the four across the board. It's kind of the idea. I accidentally put him to 56, but you know, you'll find that actually he doesn't do a whole lot of damage in comparison to say Phalia and Wonder Lula. And you'll see that here in the gameplay that he doesn't do as much damage. So having him a little bit higher level is kind of nice, but it can, it's still doable. Um, it's still doable. 
Kelrian is kind of your MVP here. Not having him in the lineup really, really hurts you. His taunt ability and ability to heal himself is super nice. Four across the board again on him and all health. Um, big reason for health here is he recovers 15% of his health at level four, 25% um, of his uh, max health at, you know, at level six. And so if you're trying to push towards getting a better Ember all the way up to seven stars, Kelrian's going to be somebody you really want to have leveled up and geared up as well um and then we'll talk about failure um we'll talk about failure as well uh because i'm going to show you gameplay with all of them all i'm going to do is switch out sharp for failure um and then switch out sharp again for wonder lula and it works quite well failure is a quite a good character if you don't know where to find her you can find her in the tournament shop um and she's she's quite interesting not a whole lot of need for her at the moment uh in the game but if you if you want a really good damage dealer and you want to be able to make the ember event easier she's certainly a way to go uh certainly wonder lula is also that way and you can farm them both at the same time one through the tournament shop and then the other one through the star shop uh wonder lula through the star shop so Failure certainly makes this a heck of a lot easier, as you're going to see in the gameplay. And then Wonder Lula here, once again, same type of setup, uh, damage, crit damage, and four across the board at level 55. Um, and so let's go ahead and look over, over to the gameplay itself. If you come over here, I'm loading it up now, you're going to see that I'm fighting here with Wonder Lula first. And... It's really simple. What you want to do is I always attacked Corcoran with these characters first because I don't want him to get his AOE off and that sort of stuff. I know he's a little bit slow, but as you can see, I push through and I go ahead and attack him and get him done uh, with this team. All right. And then I go straight after Martha. And the reason for that is that Mortha can heal and that sort of thing. But as you can see, I'm putting out plenty of damage to be able to get them taken care of pretty quickly. As you can see, I made a mistake there, didn't wait for the invis, um, but that's okay. As you can see, I made a mistake, Wonder Lula's in, not really that big of a deal. Um, so next, you can see that I'm keeping Kelrian up, he has his damage, and then the, the stealth keeps Kelrian available to take hits. And then I just keep regening him. Um, and healing him up and then once again I'm going to get another taunt and so with her ability to you know go invisible it really keeps Kelrian in the front um, allows him to get his taunt back and that sort of thing so really really beneficial uh, she get, brings a lot of things to the game as you can see I just noticed that I had made that mistake and went ahead and used the basic I don't you know need to use much more so I just use the basic here I'm gonna go again after them the zealots the zealots do a lot of damage and they have AoE so let's see if we can get through them once again invisible puts Kelrian right out there don't need to heal or anything and so I'm going I used a big attack there because I could went ahead and taunted because people are gonna come up out of stealth uh, important to do now as you can see we're going to get a big hit here um, and we're also going to go ahead and heal up with the regeneration we don't need to worry about uh going and doing anything else um heal it using the big heal we'll just use the regener regeneration with sinjo so we get big aoe once from them uh from the mage and then we can heal and then we can heal again but we didn't need to so we didn't there um because we're looking at the health meters and that sort of thing as you can see we've already got one guy down we're gonna go right after the other look now we can heal again if we want to i'm um, thinking about it should i do it yes i'm going to go ahead and do it not a problem and then we'll go ahead and damage up so as you can see we're kind of going through we're taunting and we're going to go ahead and regen i believe if i do that here i we go ahead and do the regen we're going to get more up um more health up and then we're just gonna blow up the guy here i went ahead and picked i always go ahead and pick um ranth to kill first because i don't want her dropping the battle poo um which is gonna be annoying with the two tanks out there uh so i go straight after that her and then after mar with the levels that i have the guys at they have just enough health to survive a mar all-out assault because you don't necessarily have wonder or uh, night el all the way up um you can't just remove the taunt at the end of her next turn which 
which sucks. And so you want to make sure they're at full health before Mar goes off into attack. And that's what you're seeing here. I went ahead and gone right after Mar, got him killed really quickly. As you can see, the DPS from Wonder Lula is quite amazing. And then a huge hit, um, a huge hit from uh, from Alaria, uh, the big, big hit there. And as you can see, we're going to get right through. Not a problem at all. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All five characters are going to be up and all five characters basically could have full health if I wanted them to. Um, as you can see, we're going to just keep going through the cycle because there's no reason not to. Um, even though I could have just attacked, attacked, attack, and killed them, but why take a why take a risk that we don't need? So there you go. That is that one. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here to Failure next. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and put Failure in. She makes everything so much easier, so much easier. And the reason for that is her she has an AOE, uh, two AOEs, and the ability to uh, get. Uh, offense down and so it's just so much easier and you're gonna see that here in the gameplay as you can see I'm kind of basically doing the exact same strategy um, as I did before all right here comes the first AoE we're gonna go ahead and heal Kelrian all the way up and all right no reason to waste any more heals we're just gonna go straight after Mortha Go ahead and get that damage increase, and now we're gonna have an, the first another AOE. Now we have D <laughs> damage down on everybody, um, and of course I do have potency, um, potency set and a potency northwest rune, so I can keep landing those potents, uh, those offense downs. These guys are a lot less of a problem when they have offense down. A really really cool ability. So, as you can see, we don't need to AOE because we only have one target, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep hitting. Um, keep hitting the basics and now we're on here so we can go straight after another AOE get the poisons up uh, really no reason but we're gonna go ahead and just there's no reason to, to get a big heal so we can put some regeneration up just in case somebody gets hit since we don't have a taunt um, up at the present moment All right and so we're gonna go ahead and heal Sinjel all the way up we need to keep him up we need to keep him and Alaria up and we can do that um, we got the taunt now big hit big big hit here and now we have damage uh, down again on now we have damage down on Trumgar and we have damage down on the uh, one of the mage on the one of the mages and so you can see that AOE was just we we brushed that off not a big deal we can heal completely up uh, with our two healers and then go right back at the mage zealot as you can see, we're just walking right on through, and you may be able to do it with less. Uh, this is the kind of the base that I started with. Um, these characters make this a lot better, and you could, if you have better runes, if you have, if you've earned some runes in tournaments, or if you've earned some, you know, you bought some runes, or uh, you know you have money uh, that you're spending in the game and you're, you're you're relatively new to the game but you've spent money in this and so you've gotten these characters up I mean this is going to be a cakewalk for you um, if you have these abilities but what I'm hoping to be able to show you is a way to be able to do this and not waste your resources because resources in a game like this and in and in all games all types of mobile games resources are super valuable and so you want to make sure that you know you know you might be able to do it with less uh, if you find that you're struggling and you don't want it you want to be able to go in and just hit this on the first time i can tell you that i did that sort of thing i went through and and did a lot and these doesn't these characters don't have big abilities big um you know runes and that sort of thing so if you have blue runes you bought the blue rune sets after each one of the demon uh phases then you uh then you're probably well on your way of doing very very well now let's go ahead and talk about uh let's talk about the for the starting five the starting five elves it's considerably harder um, to do. The kill order has to be a little bit different. And I do apologize. I forgot to hit the record button um, on the first one. As you're gonna see, I'm gonna try this strategy. This is the first attempt at this. I tried the exact same strategy here. Um, and 
I'm able to take out Corcoran, but then you'll see that the warrior zealot ends up just massacring, um, <laughs> just straight up massacring Sengel. That is not good. And then I'm also using, as you can see, I used uh, Sharp Sharp's ability to give uh, a critical chance up. Um, and you'll see that in my successful run, I really don't use it a whole lot um, because he end up he just doesn't do enough damage. As you can see, she gets wasted right away, and it ends up being. Uh, pretty pretty tough okay so in this next clip I apologize in this one I, st I forgot to hit the record button on the clip itself and I had already killed the warrior in this case first then went after Corcoran then after Mar or not after Mar I apologize after Corcoran then after Martha and then the mage alkalite in the back as you can see, it's going a lot better this time. They don't attack. Uh, they don't come after right after Sinjel. And uh, and that was really, really important. We went still after the Mage Acolyte um, in the corner there. Went ahead and hit the Taunt, which is super important. And then hitting, hitting uh, Tromgar with uh, your two big attacks from both uh, Sharp and from... Uh, from Night Eel, super, super important because you'll be able to hit them. Uh, you'll, you you want to be able to get those two big attacks to burn him off as soon as possible. As you can see right here, I go right after Alaria and then I get Alaria to hit the big heal uh, because I want her, I want to protect her and that sort of thing. Um, as you can see, once again, I'm not using Sharp's ability because Sharp just doesn't do enough damage doesn't have enough damage behind him to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to really give us a good push, um, his his ability, and so I don't use his his um, critical chance up um, on this run because it's just one less attack that I'm going to get. But as you can see, Alaria comes through yet again. And then we go right after Mar and hit him pretty hard. Uh, and obviously, you're gonna, he's going to, the, the uh, tank is going to taunt, and we're going to have to battle through the taunting tank in time. So, very, very important. Uh, as you can see, I did use it one time there at the end, uh, and it ended up giving it to me at the, giving me the right um, you know, onto the right characters, which was super nice, but it doesn't always do that, and so it was kind of a waste uh, sometimes to do. As you can see, we got the big hits on the tank again, um, and then we're we're still waiting to see is you know Mar going to be able to do his spin attack. Make sure that all your characters are up to max. So when he does do that spin attack, as you can see, I lost uh, Night El, but at this point, it doesn't really matter that I've lost Night El because we have enough to finish. Um, so super super awesome there um as you can see alaria is right back up if she i found that when she was not level 60 she just seemed to not have enough hit points and she took she took damage too much um you want her to be able to have enough power and enough hit points to be able to survive so that is basically your minimum it's not a minimum requirements, but it's what I used to be able to get through a lot of what was going on with these uh, with these elves trying to unlock Ember at five stars. Super, super important character, I think, um, currently, uh, primarily because pandas are going to be needed for something. We don't know what. But pandas are going to be needed. And because pandas are going to be needed, you need to be able to have that five-star ember or that seven-star ember. And if you don't have it, getting it this time around, um, you know, you're probably going to be missing out on needing pandas the next time around. It doesn't mean pandas are going to be next. Um, they may not be. But if we look at what's happening currently, we have... Uh, Lake just came out. We have another damage deal. We have a, uh, they just teased. If you guys have not seen, um, if you haven't seen uh, the tease uh, up on Discord, I'm going to pull that up. All right. If we look at the Discord and 
right? For Ren the Unseen, which is another damage dealer for the pandas. And so there's a lot of teasing going on with pandas. Doesn't mean that pandas are next, but I think that if you're really going to buckle down, be able to get pandas um, going, I think that they're definitely going to be needed to do an unlock. So working on having those pandas up is a really, really good idea. If you have any questions, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, drop them down in the comments below. I know that you guys are going to want to know what are we what are we what does it take to get seven star ember uh i'll be working on that video here shortly um after i post this video i'll be working on what you you know kind of a what do you need to do to get going from there um so if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below if you like the video please drop that like because it really helps me out uh hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect